This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report, today, June 18, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had two M flares today. We started off with an M2.4 solar flare, quickly followed up by another M1.1 solar flare. These happen about 11.30 and 12.30 UTC time, which means 5.30 and 6.30 this morning Central Time. We can pick those up right here. Probably both were created by 37.12, the Beta Delta Gamma Sunspot that's directly Earth-facing. You'll see the M2.3, which is actually an M2.4 you can see up here followed by the M1.1, which we do see coming from that same sunspot, which I will show you all. Now, currently, we're running a C2 baseline, as usual. A C flare used to be something I reported, but now it's a baseline flare. We have a 10% chance of an X class, a 55% chance of an M class, which we can make a 100% chance, and I guess the chance of a C flare should probably just about always be a hundred percent headed over to hmi intensogram we have six sunspot groups that are on the earth facing side of our solar disk by far 3712 is the largest and most complex heading over to sto to take a look at the flares they're not going to be much so keep your eyes on this region right here 3712 and the first flare is coming up right about now. There it was. Followed by the second flare right at the end. Right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we can just barely see each flare. They don't look very substantial to me. Coming up right now. There it was. And right at the end of STO's feed right there. Now, although we had three, four Earth-facing M flares yesterday, they said that all of the CMEs were created from backside sunspots. We can see how enormous these backside sunspots are. 031, which is, I'm sure, a sunspot that we've messed with before. 033 and 036. And we can see them down here on Gong. You know, we have several satellites on the back side of the sun, yet they say they can't take pictures of it. Very confusing, isn't it? Now, to me, it looks like right after this time, a CME is launched, but they may say that these are backside events as well. The timing looks pretty good to me, but it did yesterday as well. So we'll have to take a look at NASA's ISWA Spiral and see if they've updated these latest flares. Meanwhile, we're running a C baseline, so everyone's getting their radiation. This is our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, and that is our first M2.4 flare right over Western Europe and Northern Africa, parts of the Atlantic. And this is going to be followed up by our second M1.1 flare right here, which is basically over the northwest part of Africa and most of the Atlantic. And since then, we've seen very little activity throughout the day. We did have a flare there. It's going to be 1541. We will check that real quick, but it was not very substantial. And by not very substantial, I would say a C5.5 solar flare. You can see this right here at 1541. 
Taking a quick look at STOHMI magnetogram, we see how ugly these three sunspots really look. And this is questionably a reverse polarity sunspot. It's in the northern hemisphere and it looks like it's negative black over white. But it is questionable. This is looking very ugly as well with positive and negative embryos bouncing off each other. And they have warned about an X flare, although they've only given it a 10% chance of occurring. These are the sunspots that are Earth facing currently. This was taken at 1630 today on the 18th, which is 1130 Central Time here this morning. Taking a look at SOHO at 284 angstroms. We see we have a large coronal hole here in the northern hemisphere. I don't know if that's going to be geoeffective or not, but we will know within about 40 hours. We see that these sunspots don't look as horrific as they do on HMI magnetogram. And it looks like we did have some serious action on the far limb, but which does have a geomagnetic connection to our Earth. We also see the sunspots coming around the limb and we saw how huge and horrific they look it should get interesting very soon all right over to nasa's is what goodard spiral they have mapped out one of the solar flares i'm not sure if this was the one off the limb or the m2.4 i would assume it was the m2.4 solar flare and they have it flying between everything what a perfect miss, as usual, right? Unbelievable. Now, real quickly, I wanted to show you all that the College KP Index believes that we're in a solar storm or geomagnetic storm. Started out with three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, six hours of a G1 geomagnetic storm, and we've just had three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. A total of 12 hours of action here, which doesn't really show up on any of the other KP indexes, although we do have the disturbance here, and that would be from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Central Time today, exactly when the College Index said we started getting peppered by a geomagnetic storm. Now, we're going to take a look at our Discover satellite and see if we can verify any of this. All right, taking a look at real-time solar wind Discover satellite. First off, we notice that the shields are down most of the day. However, we have solar winds going up from around 420, peaking at 619 here, and peaking at 623 right here. And that is what's causing the KP index is to indicate that we're having a solar storm. Now, solar winds are caused by coronal holes, not solar flares or filament eruptions. We haven't had solar winds Earth facing in some time. So I'm going to check the back side of our planet to see what is going on and if maybe the energy is coming from a secondary source. Now let's please keep in mind that these are just models, but we have very little bow shock whatsoever, and we have a huge pressure on the night side of Earth. In this model, we have Earth, the little white and black ball, moving to the left at 67,000 miles an hour, orbiting our sun, also coming right at you at 544,000 miles an hour, moving with our sun away from the Big Bang. And instead of a bow shock, we have a shock on the night side, the night side of our sun, almost like the solar winds are coming from somewhere else. It's pretty distinctful and easy to see. Now, again, this is just a model, but that's exactly what it shows. With that said, God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in bizarro world.